Now, if you step back and look at this model, sometimes there's some misconceptions. Sometimes people look at this and they struggle a little bit because it says eight coaching steps. And I know here in the UK, you like to use the word eight coaching skills, and I'm very comfortable with that because I think, by and large, that's what we're talking about is actionable skills and behaviors and practices. So don't worry about the word steps. In fact, don't even worry about the titles if you're struggling with even the names on those steps. Feel free to put in your own names. I think it's the core concepts in each of those eight areas that's very, very important. And some people say, boy, eight is a lot to remember. It is a lot to remember, but I think if you apply yourself just a little bit, you can master that. Now, again, some people look at this process and they say, it looks linear to me. Step one, you do that, then you go to step two, go to step three. How many believe that? Is it a linear process? I'm hoping I don't see too many hands. It's a very fluid process. It's a very dynamic process. There have been coaching sessions where I've only done step one where I've worked with some of my people and all I wanted to do is build the relationship a while, maybe I've been away from the office, wanted to catch up, see what's going on, and all I'm doing is step number one.